Hey guys, it's me. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video because I mentioned it oh my God. in my one video that I haven't uploaded yet. But um, I was at my dad's all weekend from Thursday to today, which is Sunday. Um, and uh, they like going to like antique places or whatever. Um, and consignment, like antique consignment. Like um, we went yesterday. To the Tattered Tulip in um, Wright's Corners, and um, we usually go to the Red Barn, I think it's called, um, right on by Lockport Road and Shawnee, I think it is. I think it's Shawnee. Yeah, Shawnee. Um, that's where I got um, a lot of my cute stuff. Do I have one up here? No. But um, when I do like a tour of my not my makeup room, but like, um, my walk-in closet, well, I already did the walk-in closet of, um, like, my little collection of things, um, I'll show you that, but, um, we went there, and, like, they were, like, looking for stupid shit, um, she ended up getting, like, a really cute vase, um, I would have got one, but, like, I had no use, like, literally, it wouldn't have held anything, maybe just, like, some fake flowers, um, and she got fake flowers. I'm like, why would you go to an antique place and get fake flowers when you can go to like Dollar Tree? But anyways, um, I saw this sitting there. Like, it, well, obviously not with the sponges, but like I saw it sitting there, and I was like, I have to have this for my makeup room to set my sponges in because the container I had. Do I have a sample of it? No. Um. One I had, um, I couldn't get my hand in there, so like I literally had to use like two fingers. Oh my god, that sounds so bad. Two fingers in there and like grab them like this and like fish around for them. Um, they're just like squeezing them. My nails are like popping off. Like if you can like see that one, like it's popping off. And like these are professionally done. Like I'm pissed. So like as soon as they pop off, bye. I'm done. Um, but anyways, um. So I saw it, I'm like, I had to have it, because, like, it looks, like, obviously I'm missing a black sponge, but I'm probably going to get another blue one, another pink one, so I'm going to get, like, two of each color. Like, I have two green ones, like, two little green ones, I have two black ones. This one was my original, as you can tell, like, it's all tattered. And then I have a black one like this. So. But, um, it looks cute, and, like, it will just sit there, and, like, that way I can just easily grab... The sponges that I need um I did start a video of like the tour of my makeup room but like I quit before like I even got into anything interesting so I'm gonna redo that um like I this was like ten dollars like I think it's worth it because like with how many sponges I'm gonna be ordering because like I go through them like I use them religiously and like once they're dirty like with this one like, I haven't used this one since I got it dirty. Like, this one, I keep it. So, if I try using it, like, I use it for, to cover up the tattoos or whatever. Um, or, like, underneath here and, like, here. But, like, once they're dirty, like, I don't really like using them that much. Except, like, this one and my other black one, like, I use religiously. Because I'm, like, such a pain. And, like, I like to have a lot just in case, like, when I do... You know, when I do wash them, because I wash these with my, um, brushes, that, like, I have enough to be able to use them while these are drying. Like, because these, like, take forever to dry for me. And, like, that's why I, like, don't say no to brushes at all. Like, I constantly am looking for brushes, because that way when I do wash them, I have some in reserve. So, like, I can still do my makeup, because, like, when I had to use, um... When I washed them a while ago, I didn't, like, I don't have two of every brush, like, some I do, and, but, like, not, like, them, I have two of the, two of almost every single brush that I don't use. And then the brushes I do use, I don't have two of So, it's, like, horrible, so, like, I had to use, like, my backup ones, and, like, the way my makeup turned out looked horrible. So, I like having backup. Just for when I do wash them in cycles, because, like, I don't want to wash them all at once, and then they'll be like, oh, oh. So, 
but like when I do wash them in cycles, that way I have enough to do their makeup smudges. They're not fooling their makeup smudges. Um, they're like I do have enough to make to do my makeup. They have the makeup sponge. It's not fooling. Joker's over here trying to eat my makeup sponge. Oh, you want some makeup? You want some makeup? You're so cute. Or there's like no makeup on it, so it just dirty because it was like on the floor and it was with a dirty bang. There's no makeup on it because I'm gonna use this one because it's brand new. Um, I always pretend like with like my clean brushes and stuff, I always pretend that like I'm putting makeup on him and he's like all snooty after like he had like got a little milk over. Yeah, sure. Here's your hands. But um. So yeah, like, I'm always, like, I'm, like, once I get a job and whatever and I save up to go to Colorado, um, I'm going to be, like, getting, like, I'm going to go there and go shopping a little bit just to splurge a little bit. Probably cheaper. But I'm going to get, like, makeup and makeup brushes there and, like, look for sponges. Like, I'm constantly, like, looking for these. But these are the only ones that I'm going to keep in there. Like, I, ooh, excuse you. I have, like, other, um, sponges, but they're, like, they're, like the cheapy like, triangle ones that you get, like, in a pack of, like, 500 for, like, a dollar. Like, I'm not going to keep those in here. Um, I keep those with, oh, it's getting dirty. With my Halloween makeup, because that's what I mostly use them for now. Now that I discovered these thingies. Beauty blenders. Um, these aren't, like, the name brand. These are the off brand that I got off of Amazon. And they, like, in my opinion, they work just as well. Like, I haven't had a problem with them at all. Like, this one I got from Hot Topic. Like, the only problem that I had with this one is the smell. It smells so bad. It doesn't smell anymore because I, like, washed it and used it so many damn times. But, like, it smells so bad. Um, but these ones, they don't have a smell. And they work just as amazing for cheaper. They're, like, 99 cents or whatever. So I'll link that down below where I got them. Um, like some people like are like, oh well, you shouldn't trust them if they're that cheap. They're like blah blah. I'm like, I've tried the real beauty blender. Ooh. I've tried like the real beauty blender, and I've tried these, and like literally they do the same exact thing. Like um, I don't know if they expand in the water because I haven't like tried it. Like this one is still kind of damp a little bit. From the last time I washed it, um, but they do not expand. These ones, I don't know if they do, because these are the new ones, but this one I know it doesn't. It expands a little bit, but not as much, um, I know these ones look two different sizes, but they're the same exact one. Um, I can do, like, a review on them, I guess, um, to see if they expand. If not, like, they still, to me, they work the same. That's just my opinion, um. I don't wet them. I like keep them dry because I know you're supposed to like keep them damp and just be like, oh god, I'm wet because if I keep them damp, like, because I don't use them every day. So to me, there's no point in keeping them damp because, like, by the time I get around to using them, they're dry anyways and, like, they'll get all moldy and. I'm allergic, like, definitely allergic to mold, so, like, that'd be bad. So, like, I just keep them dry, like, if, you know, I tried using them when they were wet, and, like, it did not work at all. Like, I've tried both the Beauty Blender and these when they were wet, and, like, it, on my skin, it does not work. So. So, I thought I'd, like, show this off. Um, I pay to go, like, Dollar Tree tomorrow, um, to, like, find more things to put in my makeup room, like, I'll constantly, like, every time I go out somewhere, like, if we go to, like, an antique place or whatever, I'm constantly, like, looking for stuff for my makeup room, and now that I got that new dresser, which I'm going to show in another video, like, a makeup door room, um, I'm actually going to do a DIY that I saw on here, um, about how to, like, um, uh, because, like, right now mine are like in like little bins my makeup is in little bins and like it's so hard to find anything so i watched how to make um use your dresser drawers and like make it to fit um using this um start foam board i was gonna say 
foam board and duct tape. And I'll probably like, do a DIY on that. Um, I know I gotta do a DIY for how to make a candy mask, parlors, and goggles. And then I'm gonna attempt, before I do a DIY video, I'm gonna attempt to do um, a candy um, gas mask. And then if it turns out, okay, then I'll do the video on it, but I'm not gonna be like doing the video and then it like turn out like shit. So until next time. I'm the babies and me. Bye guys. Bye. Bye bye.